Did you know that in the last 14 years, this rare Bitcoin buy signal has flashed 16 times? And out of those 16 times, Bitcoin's price has gone up literally all 16 times after that buy signal. And guess what just happened? Last week, we officially got the 17th buy signal from the most reliable Bitcoin indicator that has ever existed. In today's video, we will break down this indicator. We're going to analyze its past 16 buy signals and results. And then finally, take a look at what to expect from Bitcoin's price next based on this new buy signal. So first off, the indicator is called the hash ribbons indicator. If you want to add this indicator to your chart, which I highly recommend you to do, simply click on indicators, search hash ribbons, and then this is the one that I use. So once you select it, you'll see it on the bottom of your chart like this. Now the hash ribbons indicator is not just your average indicator. At its core, the hash ribbon tracks computing power being used on the Bitcoin network, what we call the hash rate. When it's strong and steady, it usually means miners are profitable and the network is secure. But when it falters, it could signal trouble. But the hash rate alone isn't enough. The hash ribbon indicator combines Bitcoin's hash rate with Bitcoin's price and some clever use of moving averages to create a complete picture of market conditions. So how does it all come together? The magic happens in three stages. First, we look for minor capitulation. We spot this by watching the 30 day simple moving average of the hash rate drop below the 60 day simple moving average. When this happens, the hash ribbon chart turns red. This is a warning sign that the market might be in for some turbulence. We can see that this happened on May 10th this year. Looking at the weekly chart during the same time frame is exactly when we also got this red circle. Soon after, we saw a drop of over 20% for Bitcoin. The second stage is the end of capitulation. This is when we see the 30 day simple moving average of the hash rate climb back above the 60 day simple moving average. You can see that we got this green dot on the week of the 15th of July, a sign that better days might be ahead. However, we're not quite there yet. The final piece of the puzzle is price momentum recovery. This happens when the 10 day simple moving average of Bitcoin's price rises above the 20 day simple moving average. It's a sign that not only is the network recovering, but the market is starting to respond positively. Now here's the key for a buy signal to be generated. All three of these stages must occur in a sequence. The blue buy signal only flashes when both the network hash rate and price momentum are recovering. This strict set of criteria is what gives the hash ribbons indicator its incredible accuracy. Because by combining these three elements, the hash rate, the price, and its moving averages, the hash ribbon gives us a comprehensive view of Bitcoin's market conditions. Because it's not just about looking at price action or trading volume. We are literally looking into the fundamental health of the network and the behavior of miners who play a crucial role in Bitcoin's ecosystem. So by watching how these different factors interact and influence each other, we can start to anticipate market movements before they actually even happen. So now that we understand how the hash ribbons indicator works, let's go back and see exactly how powerful this indicator has been historically. Over the past 14 years, the hash ribbon indicator has flashed 16 buy signals before the latest one. That's 16 opportunities to potentially make significant gains in the Bitcoin market. But here's the kicker. Every single one of those signals has led to an increase in Bitcoin's price. The majority of them right away. For others, it took a few months. I wrote down every buy signal in a spreadsheet with its date and the Bitcoin price at the time of the signal and then compared it after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 120 days and 150 days. The first buy signal that this gives actually goes all the way back to 2009. Now, Bitcoin didn't really have a price during this time, but as you can see, it did go up. So the next official buy signal came in December 28th of 2011. Bitcoin's price was sitting at $4.22. You can see that after 30 days, it was up over 43%. After 60 days, 27%. 90 days, 16%. 120 days, 27%. And 150 days, 28%. And you're going to see the same thing in a majority of them. We only had a few times where Bitcoin's price was actually in the red after a buy signal. And one thing you will notice that all three of these times, which was in 2015, 2019, and 2023, we were all in bear markets. And it was also the year before the halving. So in 2015, although after 30 and 60 days we were green, 
after 90 days, we're actually down 3%. And then after 120 days and 150 days, we're back in the green. But remember that in 2016, then came the Bitcoin halving. So it's interesting to note that the year before, we had a red box because the next red boxes comes in 2019, which is also the year before the Bitcoin halving. And it's pretty much the same thing. After 30 and 60 days, Bitcoin's price went up. But at that 90 day point, Bitcoin's price was down 20%. And if we actually go back to see what was happening during this time, you're gonna notice this right here. This was in March of 2020. As you guys know, that's when the COVID crash happened. But even with that, after 120 days, we we're only down 6%. And then after 150 days, the price was back up over 23%, almost 24%. Then here you guys can see that the next five signals, Bitcoin was green the entire time until actually our most recent signal back in August of 2023 where after 30 and 60 days, Bitcoin's price was down. But like always, Bitcoin's price eventually came around. After 90 days, we're up 27%. After 120 days, we're up 50%. And after 150 days, we're up 57%. And again, this was 2023. So once again, a year before the Bitcoin halving towards the end of the bear market. If we only pull the buy signals after the Bitcoin halving happened, you're gonna see that they're all green. We had one in the beginning of 2013, as you guys know. In 2012, the first Bitcoin halving happened. We had one in September of 2016. Once again, after the Bitcoin halving in that year. We actually had three after the 2020 Bitcoin halving and all three of them were all green. So our latest signal here, we're gonna have to wait to see what happens after 30 days, after 60 days and so forth. But based on this historical data and how price has done historically, when we've seen the buy signal after the Bitcoin halving, there's a pretty good shot that price will be higher. These aren't just random fluctuations or lucky guesses. The hash ribbon has consistently identified major turning points in the market. That's because the hash ribbon isn't based on guesswork or gut feelings. It's grounded in the fundamental mechanics of the Bitcoin network. Remember how we spoke about minor capitulation and network recovery? These aren't arbitrary metrics. They represent real world events that have tangible effects on Bitcoin's price. When miners are forced to shut down operations, it creates selling pressure in the market. But when it starts coming back online, it's a sign that probability is returning. And that's when we see prices start to climb. The beauty of the hash ribbon is that it captures these dynamics in a single easy to understand indicator. Now you guys know that I love me some confluence. So when we start looking at the Bitcoin halving cycles and where we are right now, this buy signal starts to make even more sense. The Bitcoin halving cycle is broken down into five phases. The pre-halving accumulation, this usually happens about a year before the halving event, the pre-halving rally, this usually kicks off about 60 days before the halving. The pre-halving pullback, this tends to happen a few weeks before the halving. The post-halving accumulation, this is pretty much where we've been for the past three months or so. And finally, the post-halving rally. This is the phase that everyone is waiting for. And if we take a look at the price, these boxes are based on historical averages. This looks to be the beginning of that post-halving rally. And this buy signal from the hash ribbon pretty much confirms it. If we go all the way back to 2016 on the chart, we can see the same exact thing playing out. Here are the five phases of the Bitcoin halving cycle. And here's the buy signal. Notice that after we got this buy signal, that was pretty much the signal that price was about to go parabolic and go into phase five, which was the post halving rally. If we go all the way to 2020 now, once again, we're going to see the same exact thing. Here are the five phases of the Bitcoin halving cycle. We had, of course, the COVID crash, which was an outlier event. That's also why we got so many buy signals during this time. Then after that Bitcoin halving, we end up getting our buy signal on the 12th of July. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? And after we got that buy signal, look at what the price did. We went into phase five, which is the post halving rally and the rest is history. So here we are again, 2024. We just got the buy signal once again in July after the Bitcoin halving, as we enter on average, the period of time where the post halving rally usually begins. Now, the question that you probably have next is, well, now that we have the buy signal, how far up can Bitcoin's price go? And of course, there's no actual way to find out an exact answer. What we can do is kind of make a projections using averages and median outcomes from the historical data. So here we have the averages 
for each time frame. The thing with the averages is that these first few years when Bitcoin's price was really moving crazy kind of throws off all the numbers. So instead, I prefer to use the median. I feel like that could potentially give us a better idea of what we could potentially expect. We can see that if we only look at the years where we got buy signals after the Bitcoin halving, that these numbers are much, much higher. The average after 90 days is 139% versus 67%. So that definitely makes a big difference. So I usually like to take the more conservative approach. So let's use the medians here. First, let's take a look at what 16% from the buy signal price means. So a 16% move up will potentially put the price around $76,500. That will be towards the end of August. At 60 days, with a median of 24.85% move, we'd be talking somewhere around $82,300. That would be around the end of September. Now for 90 days, the median is around 27.7%, which would put Bitcoin's price around $84,000. That would be towards the end of October. The median after 120 days is 52.8%. That would put Bitcoin over $100,000 by the end of November. And then finally, the median after 150 days is 57.2%. So we'd be looking at a Bitcoin price of about $103,000. Now remember, we're just having fun with it. I'm not saying that this is what the price is gonna be. So these are just some projections that will be fun to come back and look at at the end of the year. Other things to consider here is things that are going on outside of crypto that will also have an effect on crypto like the rate cuts, the sooner those come, then the faster prices could potentially go up. But if they're delayed, then prices might not go up so soon. And the other thing, of course, is a presidential election. This always has a significant impact on the markets, all markets, not just crypto. But this year is a little bit special because we have presidents potentially endorsing Bitcoin. We just had President Trump at a Bitcoin conference talking about how he's going to put a reserve in Bitcoin and things like that. So if he were to get elected, then prices might really skyrocket. So those are just some of the other things that you have to take into account. Now, if you've enjoyed learning about the hash ribbon indicator and are ready to put it to good use, then you must watch this video I did on when to buy and when to sell your Bitcoin. If you combine these two strategies together, then there's absolutely no way in hell that you should ever be losing money in crypto. The reason why is because these strategies have been carefully crafted using halving cycles and historical data on exactly when you should be buying your Bitcoin and selling your Bitcoin. And not just Bitcoin, all of crypto. So make sure to watch that video by clicking it on the screen right now. I'll see you guys there.